Max, um, reflections on that first of all. Um, are the boys in the dressing room pleased with a point in the end? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, we came here to get the win, like always, but with the circumstances in the game, I think uh, a point is uh, well deserved and we can take it and move forward with it. Yeah, Performance wise from the players, did you think that was close to what we have expected by our high standards this season, or do you think we were just below it? What do you think? Nah, you know, it was, it's, not every game is going to be the same. Obviously, we're playing away at a tough team. Um, not every game is going to be the same, so we have to adapt to it. and. Uh, we have to <clears throat> try and stick to what we do, but if there's a battle to be won, then we have to match it. So uh, I wouldn't say we were below, but we're, uh, we made a good battle of it today. Yeah, Wigan made it very difficult for us, particularly in that first half. Pressed us really hard up the pitch. Um, how do you think the lads got around that in the second half? Um, I think we just tried to mix it up and sometimes drop it into the front men or sometimes then play through. Um, we just tried to mix it up and um, second half, I, think, I thought we were a lot better than the first half. Yeah, um, and the boss made a triple change um, with about 15 minutes to play and immediately re reaped the awards because we got the goal and a special moment for Timu Puki. He's the sort of guy you really want in that situation when you throw on goal, isn't it? Of course, yeah. Um, the, you look at our bench and we've, we've got some quality players in there, so um, they've come on and done really well. So uh, just shows the, the squad depth we have and for Timo is obviously um, really good for him to get, to get another goal and um, keep us a point further away from everyone. Yeah, and talking of that squad depth that we've got, how important is that going to be in the final four games that we've got coming up? And when you look at the next two games, they're in the space of four days, so we're going to need that squad depth, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, we've got two games in four days. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be tough again. Another away game away at Stoke on the, on the Monday, so we're going to need the, the squad depth and uh, we're going to need everyone to, to play their part and um, get behind the team, so yeah. Yeah, but for you as a young player, your first season in senior football, you're playing in highly charged games with big atmospheres, particularly like the one today. How much are you enjoying the challenge of these, these games coming up? Yeah, I'm loving it. Um, I mean, you saw the away following today. You saw our fans turn out in numbers, and uh, it's, it just gives you that motivation and that boost to, to go out and play well. Um, I think it was a, a good performance. I mean, we, we, um, we battled hard, and uh, I'd like to think that they were okay with, with, uh, with the game today, especially being a point further than everyone else uh, from everyone else. Yeah, and you mentioned the support. I mean, they all got up. Most of them got up at 5 a.m. this morning. 5,300 of them here at Wigan to cheer the boys on. A lot of clubs don't get that sort of support, do they? No, not at all. Um, I mean, we stayed back and uh, gave the fans a, a good round of applause, which they deserved. They were here. They were loud. Uh, it's all we can ask for as players, and uh, they do give you a massive boost and gives you that extra 10% to go and get a goal back like, like we did in the, in the game. Uh, so, yeah, really thankful for the fans today. Yeah, when, when we got the equaliser, did you feel like there was only going to be one win in the end? You did feel like we were proper close and pushing for that winner? Yeah, especially with some of the results we've had this season coming from behind. Uh, I definitely thought that we, we could go on and win it. So, uh, But obviously it wasn't, wasn't meant to be today. But like I said, we're a point further away from everyone. So uh, I think we're, we'll take it and move on. Yeah, and that, and that, um, that stretches the unbeaten run now to I think it's 10 unbeaten in the league. Um, how confident do you think the boys are going into the final four games and the big running? Yeah, really confident. Um, like I said, we, we, we believe we can beat anyone, so we're going into all these last four games confident as ever, um, and hopefully we can, we can finish it off. And a bit back at Carrow Road on Friday with the night, night game under the lights, how important is the support going to be? They turned out in the numbers today, we're going to need them again on Friday night, aren't we? Yeah, really important. Um, you saw the, the numbers today, and obviously being at home back at Carrow Road, um, it should be, a, should be a good game, and I'd like to think that we'll come away with the three points. So yeah.